so it's a little after 2 a.m. and we're about to leave the house to go catch our flight in Tampa. It was originally scheduled for Jacksonville, but that got canceled late last night and we had to make some new arrangements. So I'll check you in later when we get to Boston. Boston, here we come. Boston and we're waiting for our hotel shuttle to come pick us up and trying to figure out how to go around our plans that we have because it's a hundred percent chance of rain in about an hour so stay tuned for plan change the rain has finally stopped so we've got an uber coming to get us to take us to downtown to check out some things in Boston So we decided we needed some food and we came to this little hole in the wall place called Gridler's and so we're going to see what that's all about. So Connor, how is that bacon Gridler dog? All you could ever want in a hot dog. So lunch was great and now we're headed to Faneuil Hall <laughs> to catch a tour of the Freedom Trail. While we wait for our tour to begin, we're going to check out some of Faneuil Hall and Quincy Market. So we got our badges and we're ready for our tour. One, two, three, huzzah! huzzah! Great job! with our walking tour of the Freedom Trail and now we're going to head to Cheers to see, you know, obviously Cheers and we're right now going through the Beacon Hill District. So we just checked out the bar that the Cheers show was based off of and after being in there for a little while, I'm not really sure everybody knew my name, but you know. So we're here at the Boston Public Gardens and there you see our main man, George Washington behind us, you know, first president, always gotta get a picture with him. And the gardens are absolutely beautiful. Now cruising the Back Bay area, headed to the Prudential Center to go to the Skywalk Observatory. As you can see, the views behind me are just breathtaking, and you can be sure to check out some more that I'm going to post right behind us. I think we all can agree that the best views from Boston can be seen here from the Prudential Center. 
you need to come to the 50th floor and enjoy the So we just got to Little Italy to find some dinner and everywhere is booked if you don't have a reservation. But luckily we found this one place where the wait was only, get this, 10 minutes compared to like two hours everywhere else. So we'll check out the food and I'll let you know how it is. Very tired. So day one was a really big success and even though we were really tired. And so today we've come out here to Fenway Park to start our day. We have made it inside of Fenway Park and we're on our tour now. Baseball, the one, the only green monster say! Yeah! Good enough, follow me right there. our tour of Fenway Park and now we've come back to Quincy Market to find us something to eat. So now we've started using our Hop On Hop Off trolley tour tickets and our first stop is at Paul Revere's house that we're about to go in. So we just hopped off the trolley again at the Charlestown Navy Yard and now we're going to check out the USS Constitution. We finally got us some iced tea in Boston. So we're out here enjoying our Ben and Jerry's before our whale watching cruise. We made it on our whale watching cruise. Here we go.
good sleep and we just picked up our rental car and we're ready to head out for the next leg of the trip. Go! And now we're going to check out the House of Seven Gables. Enjoyed our lunch at the Essex New York Pizza and Subs, and it was really good. <laughs> Made us an unexpected pit stop here in Hampton Beach, and it is busy on a Monday. <laughs> So we finally made it to Portsmouth and we're headed to Memorial Bridge. We're doing a little walk around. Now we're on our way to walk to Maine. We finally found some sweet tea. Finally made it to Ogunquit, Maine. What are these berries? Do y'all know? No. I wonder if you could eat one. I think you should. Okay, so update. If Clinton doesn't make it home, we know why. So I think Ogunquit has definitely been my favorite spot so far. So Marginal Way was pretty great and now we're headed to Kenny Bunkport. finally made it to Walker's Point, which is the summer home of George H.W. Bush, you know, the 41st president, no big deal or anything. We're down here at the Clam Shack in Guinea Bunkport to get some dinner because we heard this is the best place to do it. in Portland and South Portland and we've come upon this lighthouse, house so we're gonna check it out. So it turns out this lighthouse is privately owned so we can't go up to it but the view back here is just as stunning.
so we left Cape Elizabeth and we traveled up the coast here to the Portland Headlight. We're continuing our lighthouse hopping today and we're here at Spring Point Lighthouse now. and we've come to the Portland Observatory to see some of the sights of Portland. very hot day in Portland we decided to stop here at Duck Fat to try some of their Belgian fries. got into the Acadia National Park area tonight and we came down to Bar Harbor to eat at Galen's and it was actually really good. So mom, how was your lobster? Decadent, delicious, tender, juicy, buttery, <laughs> anything you can think of that describes something that was wonderful. <laughs> So it's 4.30 in the morning here and we're headed to Cadillac Mountain so we can be the first people in the United States to see the sunrise. The sunrise was great on top of Cadillac Mountain, but once it got really foggy, we decided, okay, let's keep moving. And now we're done here at Sand Beach. come down here to Thunder Hole. We're now coming down to check out Otter Point. So 
it is 8.30 a.m. And we have already done a whole lot of things, such as seeing the sunrise on Cadillac Mountain. Went to Sand Beach. Thunder Hole, Otter Creek, Seal Harbor. So now we have come back to Bar Harbor to walk around while Clinton takes a nap. So we have left the town of Bar Harbor and come down to Jordan Pond to try out their popovers that they have been making for over 100 years. I can't wait. Okay, mom. So we've had a popover now. So what is your verdict? I thought it was very good myself. What about you, Clinton? Scrumptious. <laughs> So we've left Acadia and we made a pit stop here in Bangor at Stephen King's house. So we've made it back to New Hampshire, Gorham to be more specific, and now we're about to go hike part of the Appalachian Trail. Lake Champlain. <laughs> 
So we stayed here at the Gray Fox Inn last night in Stowe, and this morning we're going down to the restaurant connected to it to eat some real Vermont pancakes and maple syrup. So we just had a great Vermont pancake breakfast and now we've come down to Bingham Falls to check it all out. So after a couple of wrong turns down the Vermont backcountry roads, we finally made it to Sterling Falls Gorge. So now we've traveled back into the normal world of Vermont and are here at Moss Glen Falls. Y'all having fun? So we've come down the mountain to stow maple products to get us some real maple syrup that they make right here. So we've come down to what I think is probably the best Vermont tourist attraction, the Ben and Jerry's factory. Yes, we're going to tour the factory and try some ice cream. We're here at Ben and Jerry's. We've just left the Ben and Jerry's factory at the top of Vermont and now we're headed to New Haven, Connecticut at the very bottom of that state. And I think we're going to stop at the Yankee Candle factory along the way. 
We have made our pit stop here at the Yankee Candle Village in Deerfield, Massachusetts. And they have basically any Yankee Candle thing you could ever dream of. It is pretty ridiculous. We just thought this was one of the Yankee Candle Village stores, but actually this is the Yankee Candle flagship store, as in the very first Yankee Candle. So I mean, how amazing is that? While watching Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives a couple weeks ago, we saw this neat little pizza place here in the Little Italy district of New Haven, Connecticut. And so today, we've decided to come check it out, Frank's Pepe Pizzeria. still getting out and we're going to the Yale bookstore first thing this morning. It's very wet and very rainy this morning but we're determined to make the most of our day. Not gonna stop us. fans of Best Baker in America and the recent winner Adam has his bake shop here in Mystic, Connecticut and we're going to check it out. Now that we got us some good bakery treats, we're down here at the Mystic Seaport. Island and we made a pit stop here. I don't know where exactly we're at location wise, but this is the back 40. scenic drive. We made a pit stop on the Ocean Drive here at Brenton State Park. Now that we've drove most of the Ocean Drive, 
we've stopped here at the Breaker's house to go check it out more. So we decided to stop driving and take a little stroll along the cliff walk and tour some of the houses by foot. We're cruising in Rhode Island in the Santa Fe Sport. We just crossed the bridge into Cape Cod and now we're going to find a sandwich in Sandwich. We came down here to the deli and got us a sandwich in Sandwich. This is the view from our inn this morning and we're running to Plymouth Rock this morning to check out that and then we're going to Martha's Vineyard. So we've made it here to Plymouth and it looks like it's going to be another rainy day. So we've made it to Falmouth to the parking lot. We're about to get on our ferry and go spend the day at Martha's Vineyard. And we're, we're off. off. We finally made it here to Martha's Vineyard and we're in Egertown and we're about to go to the original Vineyard Vine Store. we have visited the original Vineyard Vines, seen the gingerbread cottages in Oak Bluff, went through Vineyard Haven, and saw a couple lighthouses. And a bunch of turkeys. Now we have come down here to the Gatehead Lighthouse and Cliffs. Manisha 
Manimsha Fish Market, and we're about to have the freshest lobster in Martha's Vineyard. So we had a great time here in Martha's Vineyard today. It was a long day, but now we're headed back to our hotel and sandwich and we'll finish out our whole trip tomorrow. It's our last day here in New England and we've decided we're going to head to Provincetown to travel the whole length of Cape Cod. And then we're going to come back to Boston and catch our flight tonight. We're a little tired looking this morning, but it has been an awesome trip. We survived climbing to the top. We just left the Pilgrim Monument and we came down here to the first landing place of the Pilgrims. We've traveled down here to Hyannis to the JFK Memorial. Finally found us a Chick-fil-A here in New England. This boy is happy, happy, happy. You drove him all the way downtown Boston to go to a three-story Apple store. Our flight was supposed to leave at 7.15. It is now 8.15 and we've been sitting in the airport for two hours. So stay tuned to see if we ever make it back to Tampa. They delayed our flight till 9 o'clock, but now they're finally letting us board. Maybe we can catch some sleep because it's probably going to be about 4 before we get home. <laughs> After several delays, we are finally boarding the plane. Time is 4.02 a.m. and we have just arrived home. We have had an awesome trip. Couldn't ask for anything better. Couldn't have made it without this guy who drove us over 2,000 miles in 10 days. Here's to one week to move into college. Uh -huh.